So we gotta do a wig and stuff. 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 Every time I get new hair, I just be like, damn it. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Andy B. And I'm here in my bathroom because we're about to do a wig install. This is my first wig install on YouTube and I'm so nervous. Um, I'm here with my straight backs. I'm about to apply the wig that I reviewed last Tuesday. And yeah. Um so I'm gonna oil my scalp first, and then we're gonna do the ball cap, and then we're gonna put the wig on from the wig, you know, to the baby hair, um, flat iron, and all that other stuff. And then I'll come back with my finished look after I do my eyelashes. I'm not gonna do no makeup or anything like that, so I'll probably do makeup tomorrow, but yeah. Um, My cousin did my shirt back, so they're kinda like a week old or something like that, but they still look good. I'm gonna got to be glued it back after I put the oil. Um, but yeah, scratch all that. Don't worry about what I just said, but yeah. Okay, so this is the hair oil that I use under my wigs. It's the main choice, the alpha hair growth. So I'm just gonna put it in my hair. i just rub it through my braids. I don't try to put so much in the front. Um, Cause I just feel like the oil in the front of the head end up making my lace come up first. But I'd like to make sure it's in the back of the head real good. I need to um grab a rubber band because usually I just put this in a little ball in the back of my head. So hold on, I'll show y'all. I don't know why I'm trying to tell y'all ahead of time. This is how you know this is like I'm nervous. I don't know why. I feel nervous. And I've done this, I've done the install of my head millions of times. And just rub it in. So I'm bringing some of the oil from the back where I applied the actual oil and just rubbing on my fingers from the front. I'm not going to put it on my edges because I want my wig today. Well, I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my little rubber band. So I usually just do a little ball like this. In the back of my head. Sometimes I bobby cut it down or I um get my cousin to like sew it back. I'm not gonna do that today. So you need to have some 90% or higher alcohol so you can rub it on your forehead. Your edges area. So I'm just gonna use a cotton swab. Is this is a cotton swab. A cotton, a cotton roll. Ooh. Use the cotton roll and just rub it. On my edges, my forehead, real good. And just to get the oil and stuff on my forehead. So now I'm just about to put some got to be glued right in the front of my head so I can lay down the little flyaways since my wig, my, um, I want to lay down my flyaways since my wig is, I said my wig since my braids is a little old. So I'm just now putting this got to be glued on the front of my head, just to lay it down. 
a little bit. It's not gonna lay, of course, all the way down because it's kind of old, but I like to lay it down, lay it back. So I put it on my legs. And then I think it helps with the cap to stay a little bit longer as well. So I could be wrong, but to me, it works. So as y'all see, did that. So now I have a standard bowl little cap thing. So, I'm gonna cut some ear holes. Okay. Um, yep. So, I'm just gonna cut a little hole here around my ear. I feel like I should have waited to do my nails, but I wanted to do my nails. Um, so, oh, well. I can still do it. It's just not the best when I have my nails. I'm trying to do my hair. I'm probably gonna fast forward this part a little bit. So after this, it's gonna be fast forwarded. Okay, so got to be glued. So I'm gonna spray that here. I look crazy. And then I'm gonna come back with my blow dryer. So, so it's about dry now. So I'm gonna go now and lift this up over my let me pull this over my ears give me one so I do it like this because it gives extra security for the wig once it dries a little So, I'm going to um, spray some more got to be glued. I'm going to cut this right here a little bit more on this side. So, you can not pull. Let's play. Okay, there you go. So there you go. I'm gonna spray some more down to the glue here. And here. So, hold on, give me a second. So, this side is coming up a little bit, but I don't even care. As long as everything else is down. So I'm about to do some cutting. And let me get a piece of tissue so I can wipe my face. Again. 
I was looking for a single I'm not a paper towel, so I was looking for some more of those um cotton thing, cotton rounds or whatever they're called. Cause some got to be glue it will come down your face when you're spraying, so it's fine. So now using this, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna just do this first. And this is from BH Cosmetics. It's in the color or the shade 235. And I use this just for this, so it's like at the broom. Okay, so I'm just gonna color it in a little bit more with the residue that's still on there. And I leave this on, I don't know if I said that before, I leave that little piece on. Okay, so now we're gonna get to the fun part of cutting the wig cap. I'm gonna look in the mirror to do this. No, 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 no. I'm just gonna have to get close to the mirror, I thought, but. Okay, so now I'm just going to cut the wig cap off. So that part is not even laid down. So I'm gonna go back in later and just. I'm gonna just throw the wig on real quick. To see where it needs to be so this looks good the hairline is here so i'm gonna pull it down a little bit more can you see i hope y'all can see i'm gonna make sure i pull it down to where it needs to be it like here for example if that makes sense so let me go back in and cut that and then I'm gonna also cut the lace um before I put the wig on. I don't know why people keep the lace on when they and they cut it when they get it on the head. I cut the lace before I put it on the head. I think it's easier for me, but to each their own.
I already had flat ironed it too. Like blow dried it, not flat ironed it too much, but blow dried it more than anything. So I could um flat iron it a little bit easier once I put it on my head. I thought I washed it. Like so this is the glue that I'm gonna use. This is Ghost Bond. Sticky. So I'm just gonna go in and I'll put like a little dab. I learned to put little dabs, so I put like little dabs and rub it in, and then I'll probably do three coats, but do thin coats or it's going to be white, so like this. the first layer is white i mean now that the first layer is dry for right here in my hair is not but i don't really care about that part i'm gonna go in with the second layer Okay, so now that this is dry, I'm gonna go do another coat and then I'm gonna be done. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and pull the wig up. Um, I'm trying to see if I'm going to be able to capture that in the camera because I need to be looking in the mirror while I'm doing that. Um, just give me one second.
I need to add a little glue right here, but it's okay. For me only. Okay. So I'm gonna add that little bit of glue and then I'll be right back again. Okay, so now I'm just going to go in and really get my part together. So, Now I'm looking like maybe I want to do a side part. I don't know what I want to do. This hair is so nice though. The wig is on. The wig is set. Um, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave it. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do a side part or a little part. Let's see. Because I want to leave it like this. Like up a little bit like this like i like this so if i do a side part like and leave this up not like this like stand it up but like the front up a little bit and get my edges together i think it wasn't good y'all i don't know what i want to do i'm gonna ask my little brother so hey y'all side part or middle part a side part or a middle part? Huh? Middle part. Middle part. Ma, side part or middle part? My mom said side. So we won't go with side. I think the side part looks good, y'all. So, yep. That's what we're going with. So, I need this hair to stay. Huh. <sighs> Because I have flat ironed it and blow dried it to stay on that side. So it keep want to go back to that side. But I like this hair so much. So, okay. Give me a second. Let me. Okay, so now that I know that I'm doing a side part, I'm going to go ahead and plug in my flat irons. flat irons and then I'm going to plug up my hot comb so I can get this part together. I look like it. From the Adams family. Oh, my name almost. Thank you. 
really like this hair. I just need this flat iron to start getting warm. I feel like it's getting warm. It's getting warm. It's getting warm. It's getting warm. I'll be safe, flat iron. I just need this hot comb to get warm. So I can go ahead and get this part together. Once the part gets together, we good. But then we can get into more of the styling. But this hair looks so good on me, y'all. I like this color and everything. It looks good on my skin tone. I wish my ring light was on. Because I don't even have my ring light on. I have my um vanity light in my bathroom on. That's it. It looks so good. Right, so I'm trying to think. So it's gonna be like this. Like, it's gonna be like that. So, Oh, and I used the this part of the flat iron to um help me get my part. I'm gonna spray some gossipy glue right there once I figure figure out how I'm gonna do my edges and stuff. But this is how I get it flat, like here. So once this is figured out. It's like it helps a little bit more. So I think I'm gonna do like the like a J like in the front. So we pull this piece of hair there. Thank you. 
I'm spraying a little bit to got to be cool with it. Right, y'all, yeah, I need it. Okay, so we figured out the part. So it's gonna be like this. This is how it's going to look. This is how I want it to be. I'm thinking about doing more of a, I think this is how I want it though. This is the concept. So this is how the hair is going to be. Um, now the issue is going to be, I need to flat iron it. And I'm going to add a little bit more dramatics for this little baby hairs. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know yet. But this is how it's going to be. Um, give me a few and I'll be back. Ah, I really like this hair. And it's so long. It's long how I like it. Looks good. Once we figure out this part... I might add a little there and then like flip it back, but I don't know. I don't know yet. Let me just play with it. I'll be back. I'm going to use um, my hair serum to fire in it. And what else? I'll probably use some wax to lay it down once I get it done, but I'll come back and show y'all everything. I'm feeling this. I'm just looking at myself in the mirror and I'm like, I look like a totally different person. I'm about to do this like before and after as my thumbnail. Cause y'all, uh, I like this. Let me go show my mom. <laughs> I get sliced every time I get a wig on. So my mom, my mom, you like my hair. I like this, yo. I like it a lot. I really feel like I don't even want to do no edges. Like now I'm thinking about it. I don't even think I want to really do no edges. Oh my foot arm got fall. Oh, you be careful because all these wires is everywhere. So like, hold on. Let me show you how I just did it in my little brother's room. Okay, so I had it like this. Like that, right? Once I get the back together, we're gonna be set. Okay, so I'm gonna have it like this. And then this here. I think this looks good. I like it like this. Every time I get new hair, I just be like, baby. And I didn't bleach my knots. I did not bleach my knots. So just imagine if I really bleached my knots and everything like, yo, yo. And this ain't going nowhere. Ghost bone do their thing every time, so. Yeah, get that ghost bomb. Okay, so I'm gonna use my Tresemme like heat protectant. Yeah, heat protectant spray. Um, I just sprayed it on my hair and then I'm gonna flat iron it and I come back. I keep saying I'm gonna come back, but I'll be like stop it in the middle. But I did like a slight baby hair. It's really not a lot. I don't really do like large swoops and all the other stuff. I do like a little swipe here, a swipe there. That's how I do my baby hair. So don't watch me if you want to do like a whole bunch of like extra baby hairs because 
I'm not that girl. Hey guys, so I'm back. Um, this is like day five or four or something like that. And it's still looking good. I'm, my lace is coming up a little bit in the front, but it's normal. Um, but it still looks good. I love it. Um, I'll probably keep this on until I can't anymore. So when they really start lifting, like this side is still good. Like it's not going nowhere. So the glue holds up very well. Um, three coats and you'll be good um i used a hot comb to lay it down here but i love it so yeah before i forget i need to upload some pictures of me um at my dad's funeral so i can see how the hair really looked and yeah